A fake doctor identified as Abawolo Omenka has been caught by the Association of Nigerian Private Medical Practitioners while trying to apply as a medical officer at the Covenant University Medical Center, OTA, in the Songo area of Ogun State. According to reports, Omenka had applied for the position of a medical officer and reportedly presented fake credentials, which included a photocopy of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria registration certificate issued in 2015. The 35-year-old suspect also presented a certificate from the Benue State University where he claimed to have obtained a Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery and graduated with a second-class opera division. Report says the suspect who works as an auxiliary nurse at some private hospital was caught during a job interview held at the Convenience University Medical Center while being scrutinized by three doctors about his credentials. Omenka's cover was blown after he failed to justify why his MDCN registration number was the same as some those who got a certificate four decades ago. According to a source, the suspect during interrogation confessed to having obtained the fake certificate from racketeers at Oluwole in Lagos State. The source said the man first went to Covenant University Health Center last week to apply for the post of medical officer. The MD of the center, Dr. Ademola Adebanjo, suspected foul play and scheduled him for an interview this week. He then reached out to Dr. Kayode Oyelade, the chairman of ANPMP Ogun State Chapter, about his suspicion. So Dr. Oyelade and Dr. Akin Oyejoke, an executive of the association, sat in the interview panel yesterday to be able to get the root of the matter, and that was how the suspect was nabbed. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources and Oil, Henneken Lokoberi, has said that the federal government will stop fuel importation in February 2024. Speaking during a working visit to the Portacot Refining Company in Eleme River State, Lokobiri stated that Portacot Refinery would commence operations before the end of 2023, precisely in December, while Wari Refinery, which is also undergoing rehabilitation, will start refining petroleum products by February 2024. The minister, who expressed happiness with the level of work done at the Portacot Refinery, said the $1.5 billion rehabilitation work will ensure that the facility refines up to 60,000 barrels of of crude per day when completed by the end of 2023. Lokwe said the essence of the inspection was to ensure the timely rehabilitation of the Portacot refinery and the completion of other refineries in the country at the scheduled dates.